and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another build a figure and set rankings video and today we're going to rank the entire SummerSlam elite wave from my least favorite to my favorites and we're going to build or already have built referee john cone but for all your SummerSlam and wrestling figure needs make sure you end up ringside collectibles use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent gotta get a deal out there and I guess we'll start off with John Cone, and then in the back half, we're, of course, going to rank the entire wave, including John Cone. But very cool to get a referee figure. That's been one collectors have been dreaming of for a long time. Give us a real referee figure. Well, the day has finally come. We got John Cone. Now, we've got Muhammad Ali referee. Uh, we got Dangerous Danny Davis build a figure referee. So we've got referees in the past, but this is a true-to-life referee that he is known for just being a referee you get what i mean of course backstage and stuff like that but when people think of john cone usually hey it's referee and we need referees if you're a kid out there you gotta have them when i was a little kid with the ljns they had the referee ljn i didn't have it at the time uh, but they had it back then so it was cool to see and i think it'll be really cool for a lot of collectors to get this john cone now this is a build a figure i'd love to get multiples of somehow you know, buy a couple extra sets or something. I don't know how you'd do it to make it uh, cost efficient. I don't think it's really possible. But you could have a lot of different referees. You could have guest referees with the different heads. You could get different heads from other figures put on here. You could make a lot of different referees because there's more than one referee, as we do know. But we do have old Peanut Head himself. We do have Teddy Long coming in the future as another referee. So we're building out that referee army as a build a figure. Would love to see a ringside collectibles exclusive referee pack. Just make your own referee. Just throw a bunch of build a figure parts in there. That would be pretty cool. Make some generic heads, or it'd be really cool if you could get like Steve and Bill and uh, Robert or something like that. Give them heads and have them as nameless, faceless referees. I think that'd be pretty cool, and I think they would love to have that too. Maybe one day we'll see what happens. But let's dive into this one. Let's start with the accessories first. And there are so many hands with this John Cone, which we got to appreciate that. We got to appreciate that at the end of the day. But we got hands upon hands. We got the one hands. So he's either pointing to somebody or he's saying it's just a one on doing this count, of course. Then we get the two hands. So he throws it up. It's a two. Of course, a two. Or the dreaded three count. You never want to be on the losing end of a three count, that's for sure. So you get the three count hands. And then you do have the regular counting hands where you're just going to hit the mat with. So really playing all the referee hand hits right here. And then you got two fists of fury. And I got to be honest, Mattel, you didn't even need to give us a fist of fury. I think these hands were more than enough. But hey, just like that, we get some hands. I'm here for that all day long. And twice on Sunday. Yes, twice on Sunday. But let's dive into old referee John Cone here. Now, he does fit on a ringside stand, so we'll get that out of the way right away. Mattel stand, of course, over there. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. But we got John Cone right off the bat. And maybe it's because I know John Cone. I've met John Cone, but uh, not like I'm friends with him or anything. But I have uh, went to his donut shop down in Kansas City. Shout out to John Cone's donut shop down there. Uh, but John looking really good, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, had a dangerous blood feud back in the day in Harley Race's organization with good friend of the channel, Midwest professional wrestling legend Gage Octane. Did you know he was trained by Harley Race and Dory Funk Jr.? Yes, true story. Old Gage Octane, him and John Cohn when he was like Johnny Angel or something like that. Hot blood feud. Hot blood feud back in the day. Maybe we'll get old Gage to talk about it one day. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but looking good right here is John Cohn all day long. I know who this is. I think it's a beautiful likeness of John Cone. This was originally announced, I want to say it was at San Diego Comic-Con 2023. I was in the audience right there, right in front of him right there when that got announced. Very, very cool, though. Good head sculpt on this one here. Standard referee shirt going on. You got the stripes, oh, like a young zebra or footlocker employee. Choose your own zebra stripe adventure. WWE logo on the chest, WWE logo on the arms as well. Uh, but looking good. Straight up referee attire. And then, of course, build a figure legs down here, all in black. The old black slacks. Black boots as well. He's ready to go. He's ready to do some referee and or punch some people if he needs to with these fists of fury. Of course, articulation arms go all the way around. Bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. Hands back and forth. Head removable back forth side to side. Of course, ab crunch. 
waist articulation. Legs do go up. Bend at the knee. Double joint and pinless knees. How about that? Thigh cut as well. Ankles back and forth, up and down. And like I said, he does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. But pretty good. And I always like Build-A-Figures, be it from WWE, Marvel Legends, DC McFarlane. They're not free per se, but they feel free. They feel like a little extra something special. I am here for this. And I always say I wish they would give us basic lines with Build-A-Figure pieces. You could do nameless referees as a Build-A-Figure. I think you would sell more basics, a.k.a. main events. Like I get used to that. I think you could sell even more of those if you put Build-A-Figure stuff. Give us street gear of different characters. Heck, you can give us a Cody Rhodes in a street gear or Randy Orton in a street gear. Anything under the sun you could put in those, and I think it would make you sell more main event figures. Would love to see them adapt that, or maybe just in the pay-per-view series for the basic ones. I mean, you start there, just like they do with the Elites. I think that would be a cool move to do, and it would get more figures out there and get people to buy some more. Just saying, just saying right there. But John Cone is very, very nice. Very nice figure. Uh, one of the best build of figures we've had in a long time for many reasons. It feels good. It looks good. But it's also a referee. Something that was needed in the collection. And especially a guy like John Cone, we needed him as well. But we're not done with referees. I said we bring out the other one. We got Dangerous Danny Davis. A dangerous referee, if you remember those days. But we do have him in the kind of the old school one. I did make a custom Pat Patterson out of this as well in my collection. But... You get kind of referee outfits through the years, I guess we'll call this right here. Uh, definitely Dangerous Dean Davis, a lot taller than John Cone. I'm not sure if that's true to form or true to life or not, but he definitely is taller than him. There's no doubt right here when you just put the two next to each other. And then speaking of John Cone Build-A-Figures, have we ever, and the answer is no, we've never got Build-A-Figures of a father and son. Well, here we are. We got old Nicholas, his son, Nicholas, uh, from winning the tag titles with Braun Strowman back in the day. Pretty wild to get a father and son build the figures within a year of each other. Pretty wild, if I don't say so myself. Always fun to get a kid in the line, too, huh? Kids, referees, playing so many hits right here. And as I did talk about earlier, cool thing is you can make your own referees. You can turn anybody into a referee with this. Uh, you can even have Kyle a referee. Of course, one of the greatest, uh, some might say, Midwest professional wrestling legend referee Kyle Peterson uh, right here today, ready to referee some matches, ready to do what needs to be done. Just like the old days when I was refereeing, I was calling it right down the middle, daddy, like a young Fozzie. That's what I was doing. Uh, but looking good, you can turn anybody truly into a referee. I think that's pretty fun if you ask me here. So John Cone, man, oh man, I'm here for it. You guys let me know if you're here for it. Are you excited for this build of figure or is it one of those ones don't need it in my collection. I can see both sides of the coin on that one. Two sides of the coin, like a young kiss, really, at the end of the day. But looking good for me, for John Cone. But now we got to turn our attention to the rest of the wave as we're going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. All right, it's time to rank the entire SummerSlam John Cone Build-A-Figure wave from my least favorite to my favorite. We've been through this many a times on the channel. You know how it's done. Of course, you start with your least favorite, work your way to your favorite. And of course, you got to put them in order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part. Remember, this is my list, so it's 100% right because it's my list. But if your list is in the comments, guess what? It's also 100% right because it is your list. So there you go. And we got five figures here. We're going to start off at number five. Number five, very easy for me. I like the head sculpts, but after that, feels a little bit of a little paint by numbers. It is the Undertaker, of course. Uh, it just feels like it's missing the coat. The hat feels weird by itself. Uh, the head sculpts, the new head sculpts are kind of what the jewel is of this figure here. Besides that, we got like some of the Ruthless Aggression Undertakers we have recently just in a different color. So not a lot of bells and whistles here. However, we've had so many Undertakers, it's tough to find new versions of Undertakers we haven't had. So I do appreciate the attempt from Mattel. I see what they're doing here. Makes sense. But it's coming in at number five. Somebody's got to be five. It's going to be him. After that, I'm going to go to X-Pac at number four. Not a terrible X-Pac. Actually, better than expected. I probably thought he'd be number five. It's good for what it is. It's good to get a different outfit for X-Pac. Uh, we usually get NWO or DX, or we get the 123 Kid era, which I guess this is technically still DX, but when I think of DX X-Pac, I think of the green and black attack. Like a young overkill from New Jersey. This time, the red and black attack looks pretty good here. Representing his SummerSlam match, I guess, was that Jeff Jarrett he took on in that, I believe. And cut his hair. Oh, my gosh. Watch out. But X-Pac coming in at number four in all right figures. So now we're at about the middle of the pack right here. And I'm going to go number three. I'm going to go for the big red machine. I'm going to go Kane at number three. Now, this is one of those ones where, for me, I've had a lot of Canes over the years. Masked and unmasked. 
feels like to me maybe it's cool to get an unmasked version as it feels like it's been a while since we've had an unmasked Kane. Almost feels like it could be a greatest hit style figure, this one right here. And I think there's a lot of newer collectors of the last couple of years that this is an important one for their collection. So I could see this being higher on other people's collection. I guess I got to rate it myself. Obviously, it's my list and I got to go through what's in my collection right now. It's different, just doesn't feel exceptionally different. I do appreciate the pinless joints. Head sculpt we've seen before, but I do like the crazy kind of eyes on Kane for this head sculpt. So definitely not a bad figure by any stretch here. Coming in middle of the pack, which then leaves us down to being only two left. There can only be one, like a young Highlander, as we always say. And we got two left. And I will say as a whole, this whole set... Pretty good, actually. It feels like one of those sets is kind of here, but it really didn't beat my expectations for the most part. There's some good, there's some bad, there's some ugly, but for the most part, everybody's pretty close in the same pack, which isn't a bad thing if you ask me. But we're down to the final two, and I'm going to go very easily for me. Going to go right here with these two. Switched around, we're going to go Lex Luger number two, John Cohn number one. I know some people don't like the Lex Luger. I think they're saying it's inaccurate uh, as far as outfits. Once again, I am not a stickler for outfits. I never have been. But I do like this Lex Luger. I love the pinless joints, as usual. You know me. Sucker for a pinless joint, so sue me. But I like the head sculpt on this one. I like how it feels. I like the size of it. Just feels like a really good figure in hand. And it is another patriotic Lex Luger. And I'm really shocked, as I said in the unboxing of this, that we didn't just get a rehash, kind of a re-release with the new updated articulation from the old Lex Luger. So I like that they gave us something a little bit different. And I do like this elbow pad. Whether or not it's for real and he really had it kind of that size is uh, up to interpretation, I guess. Yes, maybe, I don't know, but I do like it. I do like how it looks. But John Cone's going to win for me here. I like a first time in the line. Last time in the line, probably. I like the idea of this. I like the customization ability of this one. You swap different heads on there. Man, you got a new referee. You can do whatever you want. And I like that we're finally getting referees. More modern take on referees. That's something we've needed for a long time. Something fans have wanted for a long time. It definitely feels special. It definitely feels different. And that's what catapulted it to number one. And he makes a heck of a mean donut as well. How about that? But John Cohn, a strong number one for me here in this Build-A-Figure wave. So not the greatest ever, but a pretty fun wave. And I would say a must-have because you got to have this John Cohn in your collection. So there it is. Is. That is the SummerSlam Elite Build-A-Figure Wave. What are your guys' thoughts? Once again, put your list in the comments down below. And you made it this far. Guess what? Don't forget to like the video. Always helps when you thumbs up every one of those videos. Subscribe to this very YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel. Two YouTube channels with content every single day. Uh, I appreciate all the support from everybody on both channels, of course. Patreon, you get early access to everything. All kinds of bells and whistles on the Patreon. Thank you, Patreon supporters. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, over on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, exclusive hardcover Chase Variant Edition over at Barnes & Noble. It is the Jackson WWE Complete Guide by yours truly. Just shy of 700 pages. Uh, beautiful book here. Or a weapon. You can do whatever you want with it. It is a weapon. It's about as big as my head. So it's a big, big book, like a textbook here. Appreciate all the support. If you do want an autographed copy, hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Threads and on Instagram. So for the complete guide to Jazz Class Superstars, John Cole, Lex Luger, Kane, X-Pac, and The Undertaker, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.